What's going on guys? Been a minute, hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. We are here at the Day Glow Studio in LA. Now we have the Zion or Zion, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so said it both ways. The X60 RGB lights. Now they just launched this set. Grateful enough to receive two of them. So we have an X60 on the left, one on the right, and then we have the G200 with a softbox. So we're gonna play with warmer tones down here. These things are incredible because the X60s are actually very powerful and they're wireless. We're gonna test them out, see what we can get. I'm shooting on Cinestill 800T with the Pentax 67. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've shot on Cinestill, so I'm looking forward to shooting on it. I've been shooting a lot of Portrait 800, so I think that the Cinestill will bring the cinematic vibes, the cinematic touch to these photos. Sorry about the, the music, you know, we can't, we gotta, we gotta stay monetized over here. <laughs> Three, two, one. Actually, can you turn the chair a little? There you go, yep. Three, two, one. I wanna do like a blurry one. Two at 22. When I count down to one, kinda of like do a movement, like maybe with your head, it'll kinda of like blur out. Yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. <laughs> that's gonna be sick. How tall are you, bro? <laughs> Six. Five, I think. Six, five. Sheesh. I definitely say tallest talent that I've ever worked with. That's for damn sure. That's good. Bleeding my heart, soothing the soul that goes to hope they purchase. But I no longer need a piece of margin. Float on and let it eat me down the low. I know my best days to the slave to a dollar bill. I'm getting paid so bad I ain't dropping out of tip. I'm more thankful and grateful. Cause these days ain't a thing promised. We went warm with with the with the look over here, so maybe it'll be nice to go cooler for these. So we'll go cooler, which will be around 5,600 Kelvin. There we go. 125th at 5'6". There we go. Three, two, and one. Could I get that arm like a little closer to you? Like, yeah, there you go. Yep, yep. Yep, that's it. And three, two, and one. Great job, thank you, thank you. Thank you for sliding through. Did you enjoy, I mean it was quick, but did you enjoy yourself? I mean, you're good at what you do, so it was, it was, it was quick, it was easy. There we go. I can't wait to see the pictures too, great. Yeah, y'all go follow Jeff. Like I said, his info will be in the description. And uh, yeah, this is the first of many, we gotta do it again. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. All right, we will resume upstairs on the psych wall with the crazy colors and uh, yeah. Test, testing, every time, <laughs> testing, <laughs> test. We got the homie Rodney here. We're gonna do RGB lighting. So we're gonna maximize on the colors. Uh, this was the main point of these lights is to give us color. So right now we're going with a red fill. Euphoric vibes going on right here. So yeah, we are gonna see how it fills out. Let me meter. Okay. Four? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Hold on, my eyes be playing tricks on me sometimes. All right, and and three and two, one. Like that. So let's have fun with the colors. Testing mic check. Oh no no, I like. I love that. I love that. 
And three, two, and one. It's like so psychedelic. Can you look towards that light? Yeah. is still gonna render the hell out of these, watch. Hopefully. And three, two, and one. I hope that you guys got to see uh, a different take on these lights. I'm sure that there will be other videos on these, but man, will I say powerhouse? Absolutely. These small lights have so much power, portability. I like being comfortable and being able to move these lights around without having to worry about wires. Now at the end, we ran these things for a while constantly. So we eventually did have to plug them up, but uh, silent, silent killers, man, uh, they have, cool little fans on the back. So no overheating with these things made it very easy, even though I had the help of Jacobs to shoot with these lights. And I think lights these small are less intimidating. You know, when you have these huge lights and super complex lights, it can make you not wanna shoot or be not be motivated to shoot with constant lighting. But I think that these are the perfect light for any photographer. But if you are starting out and you want to feel comfortable with using constant lighting, I think these are the way to go 100%. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the photos. Please like the video if you rocked with it, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> What's up guys? I think we just gonna hop right into it on this one. As you guys have seen, the Zhiyun lights are no joke. Now, before I get into the technical stuff, because y'all know I'm not that technical, but I will tell you what I do know and what I've experienced from these lights. I will say that if you want a small compact light that is an ultimate powerhouse that you can do many different things for not only photo, but as well as video, the x60 is the way to go now i love bringing out the re 650 tungsten and just pointing it at the subject but you get the feel from the warmer tones of this light and then you can do something totally different so we were able to maximize two shoots one location two totally different vibes and that's because we had the beauty of the rgb and being able to use those delicious colors. This is the X60. Now you see that it is barely the size of my palm. It is tiny. You can use it for many different purposes. You can throw a soft box on it and you can use it as a spotlight with the right attachments. You can use it as a backlight. You can use it as a fill light. In the video, we placed the light above the talent's head and it gave us some beautiful shadows on the face. There's so many different stylistic shots you can do with this, with this light. We had the Bowens mount attached to the light and we were able to connect the parabolic soft box. Super simple, super easy. And you can hold that thing in your hand if you want to let's say you're out in the desert or you're out and about shooting you do not have to have a c stand so when you get this thing it comes with the light the battery as well as the cables and then you get a mini reflector as well with the battery you get about 50 minutes to an hour on full power worth of runtime but you also can plug this bad boy up and get unlimited power has a fan on the back so it eliminates overheating if you guys are interested in this light please check the link in my description uh, I want to thank Zune for sponsoring this video. There's some people who just review things and you got to take their word. But I mean, I think that I tried to take y'all to my usual world when it comes to photography and using these lights within my workflow. I'm super excited to use these for video as well. I'm going to have to go deeper into the specs. You guys know. I'm not that technical nerd, so I just know how to use things to the best of my ability. This was such a fun shoot. I wanna thank everybody involved. 
Uh, we shot this on the Hasselblad and the Pentax. We shot this on Cinestill 800T. It's, it had been a minute since I used Cinestill, so I was super excited to bring those out. I hope everybody's been doing well, man. I stay safe, stay healthy, stay shooting. And yeah, I'll see y'all on the next one. <laughs> Thank you.